But your behavior creates your brand, believe it or not. How you behave determines what people say about you. What people say about you is what your brand actually is. But let's go back to Officer Schmidt for a second, and I want to give you an example of behavior here. After that incident with Officer Schmidt where he gave me the $75 ticket, I went home to my darling wife of so many years looking for sympathy. <laughs> Did I get it? No. See, you women are all the same. So I, this is, no, I'm sitting there at the kitchen table looking for sympathy and saying to my wife, well, do you know how many pints of Guinness I could get tomorrow for $75? Nothing. This is after 22 years of happy marriage. Now we've been married 29. <laughs> <laughs> but after a couple of minutes, my wife comes over and she puts a piece of paper down on the kitchen table and she said, I gave you that insurance certificate about four weeks ago. I knew you wouldn't put it in the car. I looked up at her and I said, so it's your fault. <laughs> when I regain consciousness, <laughs> the frying pan, as we call it back in Ireland, was in one hand, uh, divorce papers in the other. But she didn't actually go through with the divorce proceedings, though. But to this day, though, and you men in the audience and all be able to help me on this, I cannot convince my wife that it was her behavior that was at fault. <laughs> so if the men in the audience ever meet my darling wife, just kind of try and win my side of the argument for me. But that's obviously a goofball example about behavior, though. But your behavior, as part of the gift of gab, goals, attitudes, behavior, creates your brand. There's one simple little thing that I suggest to people that will help you to create an even better brand experience and brand behavior for the people that you work with. Each of you, I think, has got a program in front of you. Before you leave today, I'd like you to write down three words on that program. And maybe on a piece of paper, roughly the size of a credit card, write the three words down. And the three words I'd like you to write down that will make a difference to the gift of gab that you bring to other people is, if you were to write down the three words that you would like people to say about you after they have dealt with you. Because they're the three words that effectively describe your brand. And if you were to write down those three words and say, those are the three words that I would like people to say about me after they've dealt with me in whatever area, in that neighborhood or in my workplace. If you were to tear out that little piece of paper and put it into your credit card wallet or into your purse. So that when you go to the supermarket tomorrow or you go to the gas station and you open your credit card and you see those three words, you can ask yourself, hey, have I been faithful to those three words today? Will the last person I was speaking to on the phone or the person that's just left my office, would they describe those, me in those three words? It's a simple little practice that can make a big difference to you. Goals, attitudes, behavior. And if you adopt and adapt goals, attitudes, behavior, it definitely will help to give you a true top of the morning experience.